Celebrating people, events, and places. Welcome to Excel on Air. In the highlights, Mama Gold are here cause grandiose exit. Omehia bags African Achievers Award for pioneering carrot and stick approach to amnesty. Ageless lady of style, Ayo Igodon Nimfa celebrates life at 60. Excel. Mama Gold are here cause grandiose exit. Life is a compartment of times and seasons. A time to smile and a time to refrain from smiling. A time to be born and a time to die. For the Ahiakwa family of Omoku in River State, 18th March 2013 was a red letter day. It was a day their very own Madame Felicia Gold Ahiakwa, a quintessential mother and lover of God, crossed the threshold of the living into the land of no return. On this account, St. Michael Anglican Church Omoku was packed to the full on the 20th of April 2013 as friends, family and various groups gathered to bid Mama Felicia Ahiakwo farewell in a funeral service which moved important dignitaries from far and wide to the sleepy town of Omoku. In an ambience of celebration of a glorious transition as underscored in the hymnal renditions by the congregation, the priest, Reverend Clement Ekbeye, while admonishing the family of Mama to be comforted by the scriptures that Mama has not died but only slept in the Lord, he described the departed as an epitome of unity and peace. I want to charge this family, the immediate family particularly. Mama is no more. The other things she has taught you, the other things she has seen her do, which are godly, take hold of it. Mama was the central focus for the Iron Cross family. She was the bond of peace and unity. The service witnessed a special rendition from a soloist and Chuk's Ahiakwo, Mama's first grandson. And so we will miss you dearly. But God knows why He called you. Good night, sweet mama, good night. Mama, I hope this makes you smile. I hope you're happy with the light. Church service over, the action shifted to the family compound of the Hayakwas in the hearts of Omoku, 
where the remains of the departed was interred in an emotion-laden dust-to-dust ceremony. Bless this grave. Grant that your servant, Mama Felicia, whose body is to be buried here, may dwell with Christ in paradise. And they come to your heavenly kingdom. Afterwards, the temporary site of the Federal College of Education Technical in the town played host to a grand reception organized by the children of the late Mama. <laughs> Mama's favorite artist, I Am Loaded, and a musician from the Ahiakos family were on ground to lighten up the event with high praise and country music. <laughs> The dignitaries were treated to sumptuous meals and assorted wines. It was indeed a glorious exit for the late Madam Felicia Gold Ahiako. <laughs> In an interview with Excel TV, Mama's first child, Sir Dingpa Ahiako, and one of his grandchildren, Chigoze Ugoji, said a few words concerning the good life Mama lived. Honestly, I don't think we to be enough to explain her, but she was an epitome of beauty, a wonderful woman, a virtuous woman, someone that always held her family together, even when times were hard. Until eternity, till I'm on this earth, I'll forever remember her. Mama is a disciplinarian. Hmm? She's very loving. In fact, she's a mother to her. She does not like cheaters. Okay. Very loving, caring, and um, very truthful, a full Christian. She's a prayer warrior. Mama will always pray every day in the midnight, in the morning. She woke up all the family, her children, grandchildren, in-laws, anybody who's around her any time, she will always ask for prayer. You no, know? she doesn't. So for that she has gone. But we are happy with the turnout, with friends and uh, well wishers who came in to sympathize with us. And at the end of the day, it turned out to be a carnival. We we'll give glory, all glory to God. And we we'll thank God for what He has done for us today. Excel. Omehia Bags African Achievers Award for pioneering carrot and stick approach to amnesty. Over the years, vision and courage have been considered the two most indispensable hallmarks of great leaders by experts who have tasted the pudding of leadership and served the pleasure of leading institutions, companies, and nations to enviable heights. For most of these class of leaders, the value and impact of their leadership efforts are known and appreciated by many when they are still in the saddle of leadership, while for some others, the effect of their impact is felt and applauded long after they have disengaged from the moving train of leadership. The latter is the story of His Excellency, Sir Celestine Omehe, former Governor of River State, who on the 23rd of February 2013 in the conference hall of Hilton Hotel, Nairobi, Kenya, 
was honored with the Award for Excellence in Public Office by the organizers of African Achievers Awards. As a politician, our recipient held various positions as Commissioner of Education to be our Special Assistant, Senior Special Assistant and Executive Assistant to the Governor of River State at different times. On 14th of April 2007, he contested and won overwhelmingly for the position of Governor of River State and the platform of the People's Democratic Party. Consequently, on May 29th, 2007, he was sworn in as the third democratically elected governor of the new River State following a landslide victory at the polls. Today, we are gathered here in Nairobi, Kenya to give him recognition in view of his numerous achievements as a recipient of the African Achievers Award for Excellence in Public Office. Congratulations, Your Excellency. As the Executive Governor of River State, he pioneered the carrot and stick model on amnesty and rehabilitation of repentant militants in the once volatile oil rich river state and for speedy implementation of developmental programs across the state as a public office holder. It was his amnesty initiative that inspired the federal government's amnesty program in the Niger Delta region, which has recorded tremendous success so far. Expressing gratitude to God and the organizers of the award in his speech, Sir Celestino Meher dedicated the award to the peaceful people of River State and Nigerians as a whole and thanked President Goodluck Jonathan for adopting the amnesty program which his leadership started. I thank the Almighty Lord for giving us the opportunity to be here today. I dedicate this award to all peaceful people of River State and Nigeria as a whole. I will also, in a special way, thank the President of Nigeria, Dr. Gulong Jonathan, for adopting the amnesty program which we started. He discouraged African countries conscripting child soldiers to desist from such practice and gave kudos to Nigeria's federal government for not engaging in such habits. We have noticed with great nostalgia that some countries in Africa have so much introduced the child soldier program where children are being used for war. If the destiny, the future of the country is important to anybody, the life of our children should be taken seriously. We cannot destroy the children and hope to have a future in Africa. That time, the President of Federal Republic of Nigeria for not destroying our children by taking them as soldiers or fighting and destroying them in Niger Delta area. I thank all of you, the organizers of this program, for giving us this opportunity and may God continue to bless you. Thank you. Notable Nigerians that received the awards the same day were His Excellency, Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, Honorable Emeka Ehedioha, Former Petroleum Minister and Ex-Secretary General of Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, Dr. Rilwana Lukman, honored with Lifetime Achievement Award, and First Lady of Benue State, Yemisi Dushima Suswam, received Award for Women and Youth Development, while former EFCC boss, Nuhu Ribadu, was honored with the Anti-Corruption Icon Award of the Year. Some distinguished Africans that were honored include Dr. Ken Kweku of Tanzania, Award for Excellence in International Corporate Governance, Anas Aremeo of Al Jazeera from Ghana with the Journalist of the Year Award, Abdukadri Aden Hassan of Kenya with the African Young Achiever Award, and the late Professor Atta Mills of Ghana 
with posthumous award for excellence in leadership in Africa and a host of other recipients. The event, which was compared by Nigerian Nollywood actor Bob Manuel Odoku and BBC broadcaster Savannah Nightingale, attracted people from the length and breadth of Africa and showcased the rich display of the aesthetic and cultural experience of Kenya and likewise a fashion parade to drum support for HIV AIDS initiative across Africa. <laughs> The Africa Achiever Award is a prestigious award that is highly coveted and respected across Africa. Aimed at recognizing excellent individuals and organizations that have contributed immensely to the advancement of the developmental sector of the African continent. After the award ceremony, the Nigerian High Commission in Kenya hosted all Nigerian recipients of the awards and guests to a luncheon at the Nigerian House on Saturday 24 February 2013. It was a befitting reception as guests were treated to a special Kenya culinary experience as everybody dined to their satisfaction. Ageless Lady of Style, Ayoi Godon Nympha celebrates life at 60. Life is more than numbers. It is a string of passions of love, dominance of faith, and quest for fulfillment. These and more are the fuel that keeps life going, particularly for a socialite like Garden City's Ayo Nymphas. Think of a lady with a perfect mix of beauty, resilience, and faith, and Ayo Nymphas readily comes to mind. A sanguine and down-to-earth Garden City socialite, Ayo recently attained the diamond age of 60 amidst pomp and pageantry. On the 28th of April 2013, at the King's Assembly Stadium Road, Port Harcourt, it was a showcase of wondrous worship and praise, glitz and glamour in an atmosphere of boundless joy as Ayo Nymphas, in company of her husband, children, friends and well-wishers, dedicated her life to God in appreciation of God's goodness and protection at the age of 60. I'm still in number because I'm not, I'm not retired yet. <laughs> My thanks go to the Father because He has kept me up to this day. My love go to my friends, my family especially. God has blessed me with good family, good friends and sisters. I don't have any regrets in my life because I've really achieved a lot. With the grace of the Almighty God, I have faith in Him. Not that I never faced any challenges in this life, especially the one I went for a surgery when the doctor said it was a 50-50 chance. My faith held me on. It was six and a half operation. The surgery went successfully. I had fun after the surgery. Well, you can see With me. a heart full of thanksgiving to God, the senior pastor of the King's Assembly, Pastor Chris Ugo, 
prayed and made prophetic declarations for the celebrant in the presence of the congregation. Additional year. May the years ahead be filled with greater grace and glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray your divine protection as she marches into a new opportunity, a new season, a new dawn. A new vista of your divine visitation. We ask for strength. We ask for courage. We ask for enablement. Church over. All roads led to Port Harcourt Club, Forces Avenue, Old GRA, Port Harcourt, for a top notch reception with a live band on ground to give the celebrant and his guests lots of fun. The celebrant, in company of her friends, stepped to the floor in response to the musical vibes of the live band as soon as the reception began. The event, which attracted friends and guests of the celebrant from far and wide, ranging from Columbus, Ohio, and New Jersey in the United States of America, to Lagos, Abuja, Adamawa, and different parts of Nigeria, was compared by Port Harcourt's ace comedian and master of ceremony, Angel the Laugh, who lighted the arena with waves of hilarious jokes. You can't make mistake, go with my papa, say you want school fees or transport in the morning. If they wake up, they still snore, they explain, say you don't get money to give you. Papa, 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 you don't wake up, oh, oh papa, snore. The event climaxed with the celebrant cutting off the cake in company of her husband. Chief Sado George, Nymphas, and their lovely children. Thereafter, the floor knew no peace as it became a dance affair all the way. <laughs> The guests were treated to an unforgettable culinary experience with sumptuous delicacies and an array of assorted wines. Commenting on the life of the celebrant, some of her friends spoke well of the kind of person Ionymphus is. It was indeed a great birthday for the Port Harcourt City Socialite, Ionymphus. Oh, Mrs. Nifas will come to your level. She's a lot, lot older than I am. But when we're together, we're like mates. We just like mates. We dance like mates. And I appreciate that. She will come to anybody's level. That is one thing she has that is going for her. 
She's kind-hearted, generous. She's always there. If you read my tribute, I said call her Mrs. Fix It. Just call her whenever you're in trouble. Call her when you're happy. Call her when you're sad. Call her when you need her for anything, and she'll show up in two minutes. She's a wonderful woman. And we've been friends for over 17 years. And I know we're friends for life. Yes, actually, she's such an awesome woman. Also in the sense that um, she's so nice. You know, she has no reservation in her niceties. And uh, selfless. You know, people that have come around her will always uh, um, kind of attest to that. She's so selfless. She can even give you the last, you know, thing she has just to satisfy you. Kind of person she is. Ayo is a simple person and a complex but where that describes almost everyone. But for her, she's such a nice person that when you see her, you will know the gold, the jewel inside until you have interacted. She can do anything for a friend. She can go extra, extra miles for a friend just to make sure you're happy and that you're okay. She can leave her problem and carry you on. That's how good she is. And I know that today we all agree on one thing. God will double her year. That is all that we can take for this edition of the program. Thanks for watching. See you again, same day, same station next week, when we'll bring to your living room another interesting edition of your social entertainment diary, Excel on Air. For more information, log on to www.excelmediaonline.com or you can call the phone numbers 080-551-81009. Or 0809 855 9998.